got some real disaster around here. What a beautiful property though. Awesome situation, but all these cherry trees took a lot of damage. We're gonna be working on this guy right here, taking him out. <laughs> and so what happens a lot of time is I have a perfect opportunity to show you guys some of the problems that people face in arbor culture. And as a grounds person, one of the main things you gotta make sure you're doing is if anybody's operating a tool, you gotta stay outside of their reach. They can't see you if they're working. You gotta stay outside of their reach if anything happens while they're doing their thing. And that's especially important with chainsaws and pole saws. If they're working overhead and you're marching in to get brush, if this thing could hit you possibly, you are in the wrong position, not them. They can't be dependent on where you're walking. So make sure you don't walk underneath any tools or within reach of that person's tool to your body, and that'll keep you safe. All right. All right, so another good thing to look for is any features that go with your landscape. Right here we have some nice LED lights. If you crush one of those, it's probably only a couple hundred dollars to fix. Uh, to get something new, but you're probably going to end up replacing it with a brand new one, especially these sharper tip ones. You want to come over here and take a look a little bit. Uh, this light is in ground, electrical. You can see some of the wires, which exposed wires over the roots is a bad idea, but anyway, we can see that. So, good groundies see a potential like that. Uh, arborists should see it on their way up, but if they miss it, the good ground is going to come through and use a comb. So, not only this isn't the perfect example because it's a little bit sloped, but not only does this alert somebody up there that there is something right here I don't want to drop a chunk on, but if something does fall here, cones are really cool. When this something hits this, it's going to disperse that shock load out around the object that as long as the cone will go around it, it'll do that. So that's something that's really smart to do. So next time you see anything on the ground, you have extra cones, throw one down and alert the other climbers. Hey, we've got an obstacle right here. I put this cone here on purpose. Everybody understands and everybody works together. So check that out too. All right, so one more quick tip for the good groundies. If we're dragging brush through this small space and if you look behind you, we are gonna be dragging some brush. Look at these trees that just exploded and fell apart everywhere. So as we're bringing this brush through, we're gonna have to take it through in as small pieces as we can. But if we so much as even touch this fence line, it may not really cause a lot of damage, but it's gonna look like it does. And that's something you don't want for your customer. And these are scratch marks from the customer doing some of their own work, if you can see those. So one of the best tips I've ever seen, and this is one of the reasons we always carry two tarps on the truck, two eight by tens, these medium duty tarps, and you can put them on the edge and tuck them into the fence line. Okay. Then as we're dragging this through, if anything touches this fence, it won't leave a mark. And we're able to get all of our brush through here and that's gonna make a huge difference. And we'll focus on this side because it'll be easy to push everything to one side and we'll, we'll err on the side that matters less. The house itself, if we were to scratch that side, that would be much more serious. Replacing a couple fence boards is way different than replacing big panels on someone's house. So we're gonna get to work. Try that next time and see if it works for you. I think you'll save yourself a considerable amount of damage and that took me less than, I don't know, 15 seconds to set up. So it's worth your time to do it right. Check it next time.